Okay, y'all, what you're going to experience now is something that you've never experienced before. I have a premiere, re premiering, as I record this video. And on top of it, someone is live. The monster is live. And I'm, assume she, I'm assuming she's talking about me. So... Uh, I'm going to let y'all hear what she has to say. I'm going to chime in. But before I chime in, I want to point something out. Um, I don't know if, if uh, all, all these people are haters or what they are, but I just find it. Oh, there's Lovely. <clears throat> let me say hi to her in another, on, uh, on one of my other accounts here. I'm logged into one of my other accounts. I have more than one account. Hello. Yeah, I said hello to her. Uh, I'm going to put on here S O S. To get into different uh, welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and record. But anyway, I just want to point out that there's 12 people watching. Well, there were 12 people watching. I thought I saw it someplace where there was 12 people watching. Um, so I don't know. You know, like I say, you know, people can watch if they want. They can hate. You know, in the bushes, hate on the sidelines, hate on the fence. You know, uh, like I say, nothing surprises me on here. You know, nothing at all. Um, if y'all consider this drama, I don't know. I just go ahead and just get your daily dose. Because I'm going to always speak whatever it is I have to say regarding whatever it is uh, concerning me. I am, you know, and you can take it and do whatever the hell you want to do with it. But anyway, we got this tramp on here, you know, doing what she does. I want y'all to hear her. This is her right here. She's live. So I'm premiering a video and I'm also covering her live. So that is basically saying, if you go out out here and you have anal sex, he is not until you repent for that, is you forgiven for that. You can go out here and do a my. Now, did y'all just pick up on what I said? I think she caught herself because she said he something. That's what I heard. I heard he something. If you're addressing me, bitch, address me. With your big raggedy ass mouth on your big ugly ass face. Looking like a damn orangutan on crack. It's what you look like to me. <clears throat> you know. Whatever face you wear up on this bitch, I see through it. You know. You want to get dirty and grimy? Well, first of all, you don't know what I do. And who sits around... Apparently, you didn't even have a damn bed. Okay? You don't have a bed, but you figured out that, you know, doing videos on me, doing videos on Lovely, kissing Straight Drop's ass. Not necessarily kissing his ass, but conniving and scheming and conning and cunning your way. What you do. You know, attaching yourself all into his channel however you can. Same with uh, Logic. And there's others. You know, apparently you got a problem with white folks. From what I understand, you've, uh, you know, called. You've told Bammy what you really think about them. See, people need to know what people like you really think about them. Now, you think you're isolating me because, first of all, let me just point out, you don't know what I do. Or who I do it with. But one thing that you do know. And I think we all know is a fact. I would never do anything with you. But drag your ass up and down these YouTube streets. 
You know, your homeless, pathetic ass. Who sits around, don't have nothing in their life going on 50 years, but they sit around making videos on Lovely and Me for an audience to come on here and act like they're holier than thou. But at the, at the same time, you know, you're spending so much time trying to, I guess what, convert people to Muslim? I'm not Muslim. You know, my own relationship with my higher power is my business. Just like whatever anybody does with whoever it is that they do it with and behind the privacy of closed doors is their business. But I guess since you're over here now and obviously you don't have a roof over your head, a pot to piss in or a winner to throw it out of, no job, you know, you're doing God knows what with that man over there. You know, I'm I'm sure Big Red entered through your back door on more than one occasion. I'm sure of it. And then you gobbled it up after that. How filthy is that? You know, that's the kind of person I see with my eyes. You know. But come on here, you know, first of all, I'm not Muslim, uh, you know, for the people that are Muslim, you know, let them think whatever the hell it is that they want to think, you know, obviously, um, you don't have your claws into, into me or my mind or my thinking, you know, think whatever you want, say whatever you want, you know, you're the most vile, disgusting person on YouTube. If I had to get your own parents, then want your ass. In her case, and you was forgiven for that innocent. Oh, you was to put that ass in. Well, you know, I don't want your forgiveness. You know, forgive yourself for doing nothing with your life. That's what you need to be doing. You know, try to find you somewhere to live. Try to find you a job. Try to find you a man that you ain't just turning tricks for to have a roof over your head who scraped your ass up. The same one that denied your ass in front of another woman. Like I said, nobody claims you. You're the bottom of the barrel type bitch. You know, he didn't even claim you. You went home crying, got on YouTube and told everybody about it. How do you think they know about it? Now, this is the same one that came back and scraped your ass up. You know, allowing you a kitchen to, you know, geek and fiend and crackety crack, crack, crack. A silence for crackety crack, crack, crack bitches. All up on YouTube. Spreading Muslim hate. You know, and for the record, you know, what you're trying to label on me. Uh, last time I checked, there are a lot of females that do that. You know, so let's get so let's let let me get this list right now. First, there's what gay people or the L T G B. I'm sorry, y'all, if I can't understand that. I rarely say that. I always consider myself me. Um, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. The L T. You know. What is it? I don't know it. I'm sorry. Um, and let's see, uh, white people, uh, anybody that ain't giving you money or donations, you know, anybody that calls you a liar that you are, you know, I guess now it's women, any women that do whatever they want in the privacy of their own home with their own husbands, cause y'all included too. The same ones you preaching to have problem have nine times out of ten either thought about or participated in anal sex. You know. But yet you got some roguish, you know, in the bushes, you know, living in the bushes type bitch over here on American soil trying to dictate, ooh, you know, I'm all this and that. Bitch, ain't you out here riding around with your panties on your head tied around too tight in a knot? Exposing yourself to the coronavirus every day. Out here looking and searching for kids to snatch up. Or making some kind of what? Crackety crack 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 deliveries. 
you know, living in a man that, uh, living in a man's space that won't even claim your ass but scrape your ass up. Out of a boarding house. The bottom of the barrel type bitch. You know. Who cons supporters into buying her cars and laptops. And giving her money every month. I wonder if Bambi Bam is going to be. Going to be giving you a donation every month now. As you claim that you know she was doing I mean I've always seen what she was to you which was a pawn all lovely was to you as somebody to attach yourself to and learn as much as you could you know from her get her to do her as much as she, as she would for you to help you you know to whatever you could get out of her same with straight drop same with uh, uh, logic you know all your day ones, all they are to you is a view and a click and a donation. You know. If I had to guess, Lovely has donated to you, you're, you're dragging her. If I had to guess, Bandman has donated to you, you're dragging her. The only difference is you're trying to drag me, but I had sense enough not to give your ass shit. You know. And people just know what you're really about now at the end of the day. You know, you can try to hide behind this whole Muslim and whatever this ritual is that you're doing or whatever. You know, they may be mesmerized by it. But at the end of the day, you don't give a damn about them if they fall into any of those categories. Or if anybody in their family or friends or relatives or anybody they care about or love falls into any category you don't approve of. You know, a lot of people don't approve of people like you coming over in this country just the bottom of the barrel type bitches, you know, that's crawling in mud to get up in here. Because other places won't have you. And all you do is sit around and, you know, ooh, I'm this and that and, um, and uh, ooh, you know, thanks for the one or two or three or however many people are, here, are, are in here. Uh, give me a like, you know, ordering people around. You got a bunch of flunky ass fools, delusional idiots attaching themselves to nothing. You're a nothing bitch. A half of a millimeter of a nothing bitch. A skank, trial ass mouth, muddy hogged bitch. Up on here talking. I'm assuming you're talking about me. Oh, because that is filth. That is some straight filthy. Yeah, and you're filth. You're straight up filth. I don't care what face you put on. Your ass is filth. And you know what? At the end of the day, who really gives a damn what a nothing, nobody, you know, half of a surviving bitch thinks? You know, you're in constant survival mode. You claim you want your own space, but yet, you know, the minute this man gave you somewhere to live, but you can save up some money. Ooh, yeah, I'll do it. But ain't it ironic? Your ass can't go, you can't, your ass can't move now if you want it to. You know. How does it feel to buy yourself a bed? After almost 50 years of life, how does it feel to buy your, to actually buy yourself a bed to sleep in? A bed that you own for yourself. I mean, I can only imagine disgusting, filthy things you've done to be able to sleep on a mattress. For every two steps you take forward, 
you're going to take 1.9 steps back. So that means you'll have to take 10 little mini baby steps to even get one step. And karma might pull the rug up under that. You know, and take your ass back two steps. I'm waiting on you to crack it and crack, crack, crack in that car and run a red light or, you know, be so, you know, uh, distracted with, you know, a view, a light, a sub, or counting however many this or comparing however many to that. You a liability out on that road you driving on. You know, uh, you know, a crackety cracked up fiend geek orangutan, you know, driving on US roads. You know. That's a movie script. That shit ain't reality. And you think someone really cares what you think about really anything? Your life is filth. I mean, you out here tricking, strolling, shaking what your mama gave you, geeking, fiending. You know, you name it. You done done it. Kind of skank bitch. Oh, an Oranga skank bitch on these US streets a walking liability a driving liability a life liability and got the nerve to think anybody with a life cares what you think but apparently you know there are people that you know don't have a life obviously yeah Crackety crack 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 that up your funky ass. Okay? Do an anal with that. Because your mouth is anal. You have two anal cavities. One right here and one that you sitting on that you got to shift from side to side every minute and a half. <laughs> 